In September, the Germans began their nighttime blitz on London. By now, both sides had abandoned the policy of avoiding civilian casualties. You're forgetting, said the Hun, that your streets are overrun with the homeless and the hungry and the halt. Not to mention, said the Hun, that your buildings by the ton are succumbing to our aerial assault. And the palace of your king as a badly crippled wing. Crazy Cockney, the Blitzkrieg's but begun. It's your diet for duration. Why the stubborn hesitation? What about capitulation? Said the Hun. Now a staff officer at the Air Ministry, Arthur Harris watched the Blitz with the chief of the air staff, Sir Charles Portal. Yes, I remember the night well. You could see St. Paul standing out amidst the flames. And uh, I told Portal, who was still working down in his office, I said, you better come up and see this because it's uh, something that will probably never occur again, or we hope won't occur again. It's worth seeing. And I said then, well, they're sowing the wind and they will reap the whirlwind. In retaliation, Churchill urged the RAF to begin mass bombing attacks on German cities. The Prime Minister knew that if public morale was to survive the Blitz, Britain had to be seen to be hitting back. After Dunkirk, any land attack was out of the question. To a desperate nation, the only weapon available was the bomber. <laughs> 